Hello everyone, this is Fahim Ahmad with our third lecture and today we are going to discuss about shapes of production possibility curves against opportunity cost. There are three PPC curves are possible. The first one is concave, second one is straight line and third one is convex to the origin. Now we have to understand why does our shape is concave to the origin or straight line to the origin or the opposite of concave which is convex to the origin so the first reason which is we have to understand it's about the concave to the origin why does production possibility curve look concave to the origin the ppc is concave to the origin because of the increase in opportunity cost we also call it law of increasing in opportunity cost what is what does this law say it says that the more and more of a good is produced factor producing it become marginally less and less productive because resources are not equally effective in production of all goods let's take an example i have example and i have all three shapes uh, uh, appearing on the screen so in that example we have two items on one side it's guns and on the other side it's butter now i have decided that in order to produce more butter I will sacrifice guns because my resources are limited. So what did I do? I moved my resources from guns to butter. Initially, the impact was 5 units of guns I sacrificed to produce 10 uh, units of butter. Later on, I sacrificed 50 units of uh, guns to produce 10 units of butter. So the butter production remained the same constant. but the sacrifice the opportunity cost which i made it's increasing and uh, as i mentioned that resources are not equally effective in production of all goods this is a one of the possibility it, it means that when i was doing when i was producing guns so definitely my resources who were producing goods there's a gun there's a possibility they are not as good or as effective or as competent to produce the same amount or same quality of butters uh, or there is another possibility that initially I move less qualified people or less qualified workers from gun department to butter department later on uh, I moved a skilled worker from gun department to butter department when I move more skilled worker more qualified more competent more effective people so my opportunity cost increase and that's why my curve is showing concave to the origin generally you will find curve concave to the origin now the second is it's a straight line to the origin the generally it's uh, it's rarely possible but it is only possible when you have similar kind of goods it's let's suppose uh, on one side you are producing apple on the other side you are producing grabs now you have decided that okay let's sacrifice apples to produce more uh, grabs so you move your resources from apple to uh, uh producing grabs so probably because it's a uh, nature is same so our resources were good enough to produce uh, they were equally efficient equally competent equally qualified to produce grabs so that's why our uh, shape is a straight line to the origin the last one as i said it's a uh, convex to the origin which is opposite to the concave to the origin uh, it's only possible if we are going through towards spe specialization nature or because of economies of scale like let's suppose i moved my resources from guns to butter so that means i'm i'll become specialized in producing butters and that's why i will get uh, instead of taking 100 hours i'll start taking 80 or 90 hours in producing the amount of butter which i want to produce that means i will have uh, ample time or 10 hours to produce guns also so the opportunity cost which i sacrificed to produce butter is less than what i am getting by producing butters so that's why uh, it can be convex to the origin but generally you will find concave to the origin uh, because uh, the more you loss the less you pro uh, uh, produce on the other side so that was the the shapes of production possibility curve concept now let's move to our last concept of this topic which is marginal opportunity cost or marginal rate of transformation what's the definition the marginal opportunity cost for a commodity is the amount 
of other commodity Y which has to be given up in order to produce one additional unit of that commodity. Now you know what is opportunity cost. Let's discuss marginal. Marginal means additional. Any additional unit you want to produce of commodity X, so you have to sacrifice something for commodity Y. So that's what I said, which has to be given up in order to produce one additional unit of that commodity. To produce one additional unit of that commodity, you have to produce uh, commodity Y. So what's the formula? The formula is very simple. Loss of output divided by gain of output. Uh, but before I discuss about formula, you have to understand why do we call it marginal rate of transformation. It's the same thing. Uh, although we are sacrificing on one side, but on the other side, we are transforming that sacrifice into other products. So that's why we call it marginal rate of transformation. The formula is loss of output divided by gain of output. Let's suppose initially I was producing 10 units uh, of guns. Now I'm producing five units of guns. That means five, now I'm producing five. Initially I was producing 10. So it's a minus five. I, I lost uh, five uh, uh, units of guns. On the other side, uh, from butter angle I was producing 10 units of butter now I am producing 20 units of butter that means 20 minus 10 10 so 5 divided by 10 is equal to 0.5 will be my answer of marginal opportunity cost so that was the concept of marginal opportunity cost which you have to remember because in OA levels exams you can be tested for one or two uh, marks uh, so that's that's the end of our today's lecture thank you very much for listening hopefully you liked it and you are going to subscribe my channel and inshallah we'll meet you in our next uh, with our next topic see you bye bye